Hi, it's Old Wooly, uh, and this is Songwriting Journey with Old Wooly. All right, just going to have a look at some lyrics. This is um, verse development and really idea development. It's pretty bare bones at the moment um, for a song. The idea comes out of just the end of a book I was reading. It's Shant Ram. By Gregory Roberts something over there. Um, all right, what it the bit that inspired me was the incisive eye of people and the character in the book, which is supposed to be the author, um, having a true lack of identity that allows that person to be open to experiencing other people, almost watching other people, um, where other, other characters in the book who he's observed um, kind of are reactive to the environment. They don't look deeper to motive. They just see what is and they move on. Where this guy looks to figuring out the person and some sort of deeper empathy because of trauma, because of um, a lack of true identity. Um, so this made me be a bit introspective and see parallels in my life and, and go through the process of thinking about what, um, what this means for me in my life, my perspective. And I came up with a concept that was called... Um, never at peace and the whole concept is to say that what drives me is that sense of it's almost never able to be satisfied because I have no way to self-satisfy and I'd say uh, yeah that's that's why they say it um, yeah, so that's the overall concept. So I started with some scenery and senses, um, descriptive in my own voice sort of thing. And pain like sunlight has toughened my face, cut through my soul with invisible rays. I'm a clinker built, built, a clinker built boat drifting afloat in a storm of impossible waves. And that's kind of nice and I don't mind it, but it doesn't really do anything except set things up. And then the rest of it gets a bit lost. I started writing uh, stuff about um, hard times I've seen, haven't broken my dreams. They surprised me. I searched through the debris, bleached out bones, picked them clean. Um, but it doesn't really link with the previous verse. Um, and then the last one kind of, well, when I say last, there's another idea and it's like I'm on the wrong heading, going through between the rocks, keep rolling on, on the momentum alone. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything that's relatable. I mean, it's related, but it's not relatable. It's more abstract. It doesn't delve in. Um, talking about my own Armageddon, I thought, oh, naff crap. So I'm just gonna cross that whole one out. I got to that point and I was like, say what you really mean in words. You can elaborate later. You can rhyme later. All right, so I said, sort of loneliness, Something I haven't shared. It's about my weakness. Buried deep within me. Um, I will never know peace. It's kind of that concept. Now that could end up being the chorus because it says something. But we'll see. Um, and I've just, I rewrote that just quickly just because I wasn't happy with the how cut and dried it was. 
buried deep within me is a lonely weakness. I'll never know peace. I'm ashamed and I don't know why. Um, I like the first version better. So I'm going to cross that out. The other one kind of cuts to it. We'll come back to it conceptually in a sec. If you ask me how it happened, I can't put my finger on it because there were so many times which made me feel like a piece of shit. Okay. Um, I mean, you're smart from the outset, and if I only knew kindness, what then? But I was uh, getting a little bit weirdo. I was pruned like a bonsai, and I grew up the shape that fit. Yet, yet again, I, I was working too hard on making it a poem or poetic without writing what I meant. Um, so I looked down at my own son. I guide him with shame and regret. I wish I could repeat it. I still have don't. I still have. Yeah, well, that doesn't actually even make sense as a sentence, but it's basically says I don't know how to yet. Um, so there's something to be said about the first verse for turmoil. So we say it's turmoil and we say the other ones, first other two ideas don't go anywhere. turmoil and then I guess conceptually um, it's, it's interesting because there was another one I wrote the other day it was talking about rivers deep and every um, bank has a submerged tree you know you don't want to dive in too quickly um, it's not exactly what I want to talk about. It's not like a talk telling someone not to be to delve into me. It's about that um, but I've got a lid on it. But I've got a lid on it. Nobody knows. Turmoil within, but I have a little that nobody knows. That's probably the better, probably even first verse. And then we're going to go. End of the second verse is I will never know peace, right? Um, so we kind of have to detail in the first half of the second verse, we have to detail how, uh, why nobody knows. Outside measures and then the line before I will never know peace is Start one fire, get another, you know, frying pan to fire. It's kind of another concept. Uh, I can never do enough.
the voice I'm trying to please isn't my own. These are alternative food lights, see, last couple. I've learned the wrong way. I've learned the wrong way. It's probably a nicer way to do it. Okay. Worry about chorus later. So do I say how? Yeah, that's the journey. Journey is how I learned. Despite what could have been. Um, now I know it was wrong. It was too late for me. Um, we're not being word for li word literal here. Um, and I reckon that says it's up to take our previous last verse, which is, so I looked down at my son, I got him with shame and regret. I uh, wish I, uh, I wouldn't repeat it. Haven't learned how to yet. Okay. Um, so we just set that up and I reckon that's all I want to do right now. Um, maybe another video. You never know when I'm going to roll. Uh, but I think that, and then that, the last bit will be put a chorus to it that works. I've been reading Pat Patterson's writing better lyrics on kind of de uh, neutralizing the the tense and the the point of view of the chorus to make it more universal for the flow of the thing, and that might be worth it. Um, we'll come back to that in a sec. So it'll be chapter eleven or. Oh, is that 11? Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, so there we go. Like and subscribe if you want to. Um, yeah, have a, have a see whether or not uh, this turns into a good song. Check out the uh, songwriting demos. It'll be in there somewhere. Uh, there should be a link um, below if that occurs. All right, catch you later.